According to statistics, in 2020, the UK electricity consumption has reached 309 billion kilowatt hours. Nowadays, almost 40% of the country's electricity is produced by natural gas combustion. Unfortunately, the high price level and the instability in the gas market are one of the main reasons for the UK energy crisis. The share of green energy in the country is 43%. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has issued a statement that the government intends to increase this figure to 100% by 2035. A large-scale project will bring this important goal closer. The United Kingdom will be supplied with green energy via the world's longest submarine cable from Morocco. What is this project about and how will it work? Due to its geographical location, the UK has very few sunny days. London, for example, has only 85 sunny days a year. Thus, the production of solar energy within the country is inefficient. Wind power can vary greatly from week to week. However, just because climatic conditions do not contribute to the production of enough green energy does not mean it cannot be purchased in a country with plenty of sunshine and delivered to the British Isles. If you look on the map for countries located to the south, you can immediately locate Morocco. The country has the third highest global horizontal irradiance in North Africa. For example, Marrakesh has 305 sunny days a year, three times more than the UK. Over the past decades, this country has shown a strong determination to take advantage of its location in the hot spot of the planet and become one of the regional leaders in the clean energy production. The world's largest Noor or Sazat solar power station is located in this country. A huge array of curved mirrors on an area of 3,000 hectares accumulate the sun's rays in tubes with liquid, therefore the hot liquid is then used to generate energy. Morocco presents itself as a clean energy hub with the ability to export renewable energy to Europe. Therefore, the British authorities offered it the opportunity to become their energy partner. This project aims to connect Africa and the UK with a submarine cable to transmit renewable energy. Xlinks British Renewable Energy Company develops the Xlinks Morocco UK Power Project, which covers an area of approximately 1,500 square kilometers in Morocco. Overall, Xlinks plans to invest around $18 billion in the project. The project will include the generation of 7 gigawatts of solar and 3.5 gigawatts of wind power, as well as an energy storage system using batteries at the generation site in Morocco. High voltage AC power from a power generation plant in Morocco will be converted to high voltage DC power at converter substations, which will then be transferred to the UK via very low loss submarine cables before being converted back to high voltage AC power. Intertech, a global provider of quality control services to the industry, will provide expert support for the project. Intertech will cooperate with X-Links to inspect cable installation, draft seabed surveys and technical specifications, assist with procurement of materials, technical analysis of tenders and assistance in obtaining work permits. The project involves connecting the UK power system using four submarine power cables, a twisted pair with a total capacity of 1.8 gigawatt. The length of each cable will be 3,800 kilometers, making it the longest in the world. Various routes were taken into account for the project. The shortest one passed over the depths of 3,000 meters. The project developers chose the shallowest route. Its depth does not exceed 700 meters. The cable will cross the territorial waters of France, Portugal and Spain. Each country will need to give a building permit. The first of the four cables will be put into operation at the beginning of 2027, while the commissioning of the remaining three is scheduled for 2029. Apparently, the main problem of the project is the cable supply. x negotiated with three major European cable manufacturers to build power transmission lines, but the supplier's facilities will only be able to complete the task in four to six years. In order not to disrupt the construction deadlines, the company decided to start cable production. For this reason, it began the construction of a plant in Hunterston, Scotland. By the way, this will create an additional 1,350 jobs in the region. With 90,000 tonnes of steel required to produce the world's longest submarine link, X-Links has signed an agreement with the UK Parliament to use British steel. The cost of energy will be 0.013 US dollar per kilowatt hour, which, according to experts, is very low. The huge complex will be connected to the British power system in Alverdiscot, Devon, Pembroke and Wales. The project will power 7 million British homes by 2030. It is expected that after its implementation, 8% of national electricity needs will be satisfied. It should be noted that the implementation of this large-scale project takes place with the full assistance of the British government. After all, the success of X-Links will help resolve the energy crisis and will help reduce electricity prices. 
It will also bring the country closer to achieving the goal to receive 100% of energy from renewable sources in 2035. Most likely, it will not be possible to reach such figures by the specified date. However, the more progress is made in the field of renewable energy transmission, the faster the country will be able to completely abandon gas. Concurrently, there will be no need to increase the nuclear power plant's capacity 